Hello, Bible readers. Once the tomb is seen to be empty, once death is exposed as weak in the face of God's kind of creativity, God's kind of passion, what do we Christians do with the rules of the Bible? Like, as Bible readers, as Jesus followers, we see the Creator breaking the rules a lot. Uh, the Creator breaks the the rules of God staying in God places while creatures are supposed to live in creation. The word becomes flesh. Like that's not how things were supposed to go. But that, of course, was on brand for God. God makes a covenant with the wrong kind of people. Abraham and Sarah, they're too old to have kids, much less descendants as numerous as the stars. She's barren. And yet God makes a way. Or how about continuing God's covenant? through younger sons. That's not how it was supposed to go. God's breaking the rules of inheritance time and again. It should be Esau, not Jacob. David is the runt of the litter, but all the rule breaking really takes off as we hear the stories in the Gospels. Jesus heals on the Sabbath, touches lepers, eats with the wrong people. It would actually be kind of fun sometime to just make a list of all the rules that Jesus breaks in order to love. Because that's the point. Every time, God is saying, I love you, person, more than this rule. The rule might be just fine, by the way. Maybe not. But the point isn't about whether the rule is good or bad. It's about that God's priority for relationship and connection is greater than any rule. Professor Brueggemann has a very short quote about this truth, and I find it to be very powerful. He says, We know, because of God's amazing gifts to us, that rules are interesting, but not primary. Rules are interesting, but not primary. Thanks be to God for that, as we keep faith alive.